Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video. I am here today with my son Little Bosk. We were planning on doing another opening figures in lockdown where we open four figures for you, some figures from older lines such as the Legacy Collection and what have you. But then this arrived today in the mail. It is some fan mail from Gary Moore who is also a Patreon supporter of mine. So thank you so much Gary. I have no idea what's in it. You can see I already have slit the box just to make it easy to record, but I haven't looked inside just yet. We are going to be opening some other figures for you in this video, but we're going to combine the videos together. So we're going to open up a couple of figures instead of the usual four. We have a figure from the Legacy Collection Droid Factory line from the Cancelled line, which will be a pretty awesome figure to open. And we also have one from the Saga series as well. So we will be opening up those in a minute. But first of all, I did want to do the fan mail. So as I say, this is from Gary Moore, Patreon supporter of mine, and he has sent me some fan mail, which is absolutely awesome. So, so generous. Gary, I do appreciate it, my friend. And of course, if you did want to send me fan mail, the usual PO box address is in the description below. So let's have a look. I believe this is a note. Let's have a look at the note. Hi, Tim. This wretched scum would only pay a measly amount for Luke's land speeder. However, in fairness, ever since the XP38 came out, they just aren't in demand. Luckily, it was enough. You can tick this one off the list, at least until they release it in the vintage collection line, maybe. Also, a little something for little Bosk. Thug life. All the best and keep up the awesome work, Gary. Thank you so much, Gary. I really do appreciate it, my friend. So I guess you must have seen the Legacy Collection uh, video that I did the other day about figures that from the Legacy Collection should be repacked into the Vintage Collection, ones that are good enough. And let's have a look at what this is. From your description, I kind of guessed who it was. And there it is. Sorry about the glare there. So we have Wio Slayer or Wio Slayer. I'm never going to know what the real pronunciation is of that, but it is, of course, from the Builder Droid line. And we get parts for R2L3. What do you think about that, little Bosk? It comes with two droid parts instead of one. It does, yeah. So you get the head and the foot. And in other figures in the line, you have to collect the two legs and the body. But that's awesome. You know, we're obviously going to have to try and hunt down the other parts if I haven't already got them. Depends which figures they come with, really. Um, that Jawa and WED droid will probably be a bit of a tough one to find if that's one of the ones that we need. But there he is. As I say, this is the character that bought Luke's land speeder, as Gary mentions in his, in his letter there. And yeah, you're right. I did need it for the collection. So thank you so much, my friend. Ultra, ultra generous. Really do appreciate it. All right. So this is for Little Bosk. Do you want to open that little boss to see what's inside? See what Gary has kindly bought you? Yeah. There you go. Do you want to open it up? Here you go. You do that. I think you might need to tip it. Tip it out. Whoa! You know who that is, don't you? Yeah. Who is it? It's the boss from The Mandalorian. Yeah, it's the Trandoshan thugs that attack the Mandalorian in the Mandalorian. That is awesome. Look at him. It's a Funko Pop, which you do have a few of now from the Mandalorian, don't you? I think you have uh, the Beskar Mandalorian and maybe one other. You know, I think a couple of people have gifted you those uh, recently, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, Gary. Look, that is a Walmart exclusive, or is that a Walgreens sign? That might be Walgreens. But that's awesome. You're going to love that, aren't you? What do you say to Gary? Thank you. <laughs> that's awesome, Gary. Thank you so much, my friend. That's brilliant. I, I wouldn't mind that myself, actually. But uh, it is for Little Bosk. I'm happy with the, uh, with the figure. So thank you so much, my friend. All right, then. So as promised, we are going to be opening up a couple of figures. And the first one is from the Saga series. It is Captain Antilles. And this one is going to go very, very nicely with all of the Rebel Fleet Troopers that I re recently got from Tangori. And of course, the one that you get with the Tanti 4 playset. He is very much needed. And obviously, we don't really have a ultra modern version of him. So you're going to have to go all the way back to 2004 for this figure. 
but he looks pretty good and we're going to get him out of the packaging and we're going to compare him against a uh, rebel fleet trooper little boss wants to do that just to compare the two and uh, as you can see there's the packaging fans choice number five so this is when fans used to get to vote which figures got made i wish they would do that again uh, hasbro logo at the bottom there and there's some other characters that you could get in the line so let's get him out of the packaging in fact we can just rip him open like that And there he is, comes with this little stand. All right then, so here is Captain Antilles out of the packaging and the figure itself doesn't look too bad, but it does have some limitations, which I will come on to in a minute. Obviously it's an older figure, 2004, it's a long time ago now. But uh, Little Boss wanted to get them in this particular pose, this particular scene, and do you want to let the viewers know what that's all about? Captain Antilles is telling the rebel fleet trooper to do something can the rebel fleet trooper is saying yes sir he is yeah he's doing like a salute it's pretty awesome i think that's quite a nice pose that you could have him in there now of course the other pose that you could have him in because of the swivel elbows is in the strangulation pose where he's obviously being held by darth vader and he's putting his own hands up to his throat to sort of stop vader you know choking him and whatever and that's a that is why the arms are, are positioned like that to have them down by their side, they look a bit odd, you know? So I think you can either have him with the arms behind the back or in or in the choking mode is, is probably the best thing. He does come with a blaster. Now the blaster does fit in that holster, but to move it out, you've got to lift up this quite hard piece of plastic of his coat to get it out. And then it does fit in his hand. He looks like he's calling out there, doesn't it? Hello! Anyway. That's Captain Antilles for you, and he's going to go, as I say, very nicely in the display for the Tanti 4 with all the Rebel Fleet Troopers. Very much needed figure for that setup, and uh, we'll get on to the next figure now. Okay then, and the last figure that we're opening in this video is Luminara Unduli. Unduli. Again, funny one to pronounce. She is from the Star Wars Legacy Collection Droid Factory Build a Droid line. She comes with the arm of the droid, the Count Dooku pilot droid. Now, I, I believe I got the head when I opened up Sun Fac in the previous video. So I do have the rest of these figures. Maybe not Padme, actually, but I'll have to check. But hopefully I will be able to complete that droid as we open more figures in the coming weeks. But she looks great. You can also get a repacked in the 3.75 inch black series. Reasonably expensive figure on the secondary market, but I've always wanted this one. I've always wanted it loose and I'm gonna open her up today uh, because I don't really keep anything packaged unless it is the vintage collection. So there we go. Let's get her open and check the figure out. All right then, so here is the figure out of the packaging. And from a visual point of view, I think it looks fantastic. I do like the figure. It looks really, really great. I love the soft goods on the figure. I think it works really well. It's quite of like a netty material, if that makes sense. It's different to any other soft goods that I've seen before. Now, the only major complaint that I have with this figure is that the headdress, it was on there quite tight, but then I took it off to see if it could come off, which it does. And now it comes off really, really easily. So easily, in fact, that if you move her shoulders up with a bit of articulation, it moves the headdress, which is a bit annoying. She does have the ball jointed shoulders, but there isn't really a lot of point because the headdress just gets in the way. So you can't get her into that position that she is in the film where she has her lightsaber over her head like that, because as soon as you move that shoulder up, it knocks the headdress off, which is a little bit annoying. I've got to say but from a visual point of view she looks great really nice looks like she is supposed to do from the film good paintwork on her little piece of material there which is actually a soft soft vinyl plastic this belt design there on the front she has the same sort of design on, on her gauntlets and I think she just looks really good with her green lightsaber of course she's from Attack of the Clones the arena battle just look at the back of the figure there you can see the the soft goods works well with the hood I think it works well on this particular figure. I don't like it where they've done it with other figures like the Emperor Palpatine and Darth Maul, but I think this one works works okay. If you were to take that off, she does kind of have a hood on the back of her headdress, but you know, it, it doesn't act as a hood. 
really. I don't think it's supposed to either. It's supposed to drape down the back like that and then you're supposed to have that on top. But she's super cool. I always love the design of this Jedi and uh, you can see that her outfit's molting there. But uh, yeah, that's going to annoy me, that headdress now. I wish I'd never sort of checked to see if it actually did come off. But there you go. Looks pretty awesome. What do you think of Little Bosk? You're going to want one of these, aren't you, for your Attack of the Clones arena display? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? Looks good? Yeah, she's a cool looking Jedi. She is, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know her race. I do not have a clue what race she's from. Uh, she seems to have that sort of uh, green skin. But there you go, that's the figure. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We've had uh, some fan mail and a couple of figures to open up in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again to Gary Moore for the generous gift. Thank you from Little Bosk as well. He loves the pop and uh, the, the figure's great as well. So thank you so much. So thank you very much for watching guys and we shall see you on the next one. Bye.